Hello, I'm Megan Hughes, President of the Community College of Rhode Island. Welcome to Moving Forward at CCRI, our monthly web series where we discuss important work being done at our college with the people who are making it happen. Today we're going to talk about student retention and how every member of our college community can help our students make the jump from fall to spring. As you know, retention defines how many of our students return to our college from one term to the next. Who better to have this important conversation with than two of our students? We are very fortunate to be joined by Jesus Ocasio, a student in our respiratory health program, and Perry Pinero, a general studies student and a member of our inaugural class of Rhode Island Promise Scholars. Thank you both so much for being here. So let's first define what we're talking about today. As you know better than anybody, when we talk about retaining students, we're talking about making sure that you and your community stay enrolled from semester to semester until you graduate. So why does it matter? It matters, as you both know, because students who return every semester with no gaps are significantly more likely to graduate and to transfer to a four-year school, which is, I know, the goal that both of you have in common. So let's hear from the two of you. Jesus, uh, you are one of our respiratory health students. You're registered for the spring semester, and you're well on your way to earning your degree. When we were talking before the show went live, you told me you'll be crossing our stage in the spring of 2019. So I, what I'd love you to talk to us about is um, what's important to you to stay on track? Why does it matter to you, and what keeps you motivated? Um, the one thing that really keeps me motivated is the fact that um, throughout my entire life, I've seen um, many people struggle um, to keep their sons, their daughters on their feet, moving forward through school to get a better education, to better further their, their future. Um, when I see my parents, I've seen everything they've gone through their entire life. I tell myself, wow, you know what? I want to give back not only to my family, not only to my parents, but I want to give back to those who can't get what I have the opportunity to to do, you know, which is continue my education to further my knowledge because like they say, knowledge is power. No, I really, you know, I've talked before about this idea of why you're here and what you're driving toward and almost every time the very first thing you talk about is your family and how you want to make your family proud and you want to set um, an example. So um, thank you for that. So Perry, you and I have talked before also. Um, you're just finishing your very first semester at CCRI. You came to us right from high school as part of the Promise program. Um, we know there's a lot of incentive for you and for all the Promise scholars uh, to enroll for spring because of course our state legislation requires you to. Uh, and in order to receive the scholarship uh, for year two, you and your peers must complete 30 credits. So now that you've had the college experience uh, for one semester, Talk to us about what you're looking forward to this spring and beyond. I'm really, actually, I'm really excited about my next um, semester because I'm going to actually be starting more of my pre-med route. Um, I'm looking to be a psychiatrist, so um, each, each year is just more and more exciting to me. So um, in closer to the path that I'm going to. Thank you. Thank you. And you and I have talked about the fact that um, you know, coming into the college was a step up from high school. It is for every college student all over our country. And just that you have been very focused on, you know, starting with the end in mind. You know, it's where you went to right away. You are here focusing hard because you know that your future career plans include, you want to be a psychiatrist. So making a strong start here matters and you understand that. So Jesus, our health sciences programs are renowned for the talented graduates we produce and the faculty that make that program so special. Talk to us about the role that our faculty has played in just keeping you going and supporting you. I think one big thing about that is the uh, experiences. Um, every single one of them, they're on top of their game. They give you their cell phone numbers, they give you their emails, they give you any way to get in contact with them for any questions that you may have. Um, they're on the ball with everything. Um, and one of my favorite things is that they have tons of experience of being in the field so that when they actually go and they're giving their lecture, it's not just, you know, oh, I'm reading off the PowerPoint. They're sure. giving examples of things that they've gone through that they've experienced. And that's what really keeps me, you know, more interested in the program. It's like, oh man, like this is something that I'm going to want to go through. You exactly. Know? You can picture yourself yeah. there. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I can understand that. Um, thank you. 
So Perry, back to you. Um, talk to us about lessons that you've learned in this opening fall semester that you're going to apply into the spring. And of course, my goal here is, what do you, what would you say uh, to your colleagues that are part of this first cohort? And when you anticipate next year with the second class, what would you want that second class to know um, about hitting the ground running? What has helped you this fall? Just to keep doing it. Like, just keep going. Like, cause espe uh, like, especially, um, I was not as good as I am now in, um, as I was in high school. And I feel a lot more accomplished. My parents are proud of me. And just keep going, cause you're gonna, um, it's gonna um, work out in the end. I love the idea of, I just see a t-shirt, just keep going. And you know, a lot of days, especially right now at the end of a term, I think just keeping it simple, you know, that that's what you say to yourself every single morning is actually a very good practice. So thank you for that. Um, I wanna close with just one last question for both of you. Um, can you describe a moment this semester where someone at the college, could be anybody, um, a faculty or a staff member just gave you the support of any magnitude. It could be the simplest thing. It could be something more comprehensive that just gave you what you needed to just keep going. So I'll, I'll start with you, Jesus, and then we'll, you'll bring us home, Perry. Um, a faculty member that actually helped me quite a bit for more than a year, uh, even before I got into the program, was uh, Professor Shabs. Um, she's actually now the director of respiratory. Um, she's the one that really did convince me, like, hey, you know what? Don't, you know, don't quit on this. You know, you've got this. Stick to it. Take it one day at a time. Keep pushing forward because once you get to where you want to be, you're going to be the happiest man alive because this is what you really want. That's awesome. Um, so like a coach. Sounds yeah. like, sounds like oh, I yeah. don't know, Belichick. Not that I'm a Pats <laughs> fan. I'm from Indianapolis. But it sounds, that idea, right? Just do your job and yeah. I believe you can get there. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Perry, how about you? Um, I, I, my pro, um, math professor, um, Professor Wilkinson, um, I had a family pro, um, trouble in, in, during the semester. Um, my dad was in the hospital, mm -hmm. so, and he just asked me, like, simply, just, is everything okay? And that really, it meant a lot to me, so. Thank you for that. Um, Boy, I can relate to that, and I know how caring this community is. And look, we all have full lives, right? No one at this college is just a student or just an employee. We have, we were talking before the show began, right? We have full lives and we have families, and I think what is so distinctive about CCRI is that we have faculty and we have staff who really understand that and care about the whole student. So thank you both for those examples. I think they're really just right on and thank you so much so thanks again to jesus and perry for being here today uh, thank you as well to norm grant for producing this program and our absolutely amazing crew of students behind the cameras and behind the scenes please come back and see us at next month's moving forward at ccla